Hello again, I'm back here with another new game to have a look at. This one is called Fish DDX. Uh, and as you can probably tell by the uh, the name, this is actually a tower defense game. Got some roguelike elements. This is another one that's uh, got a demo currently available and the full release is planned for sometime this year. So I just thought I'd give this one a go because I am a sucker for a good tower defense. So I will just give the tutorial a go. Thanks for playing. Press next to advance the tutorial. These islands are called plots. Yep, okay. Use the mouse to move around and the scroll wheel to zoom. Good. Add a new plot by choosing how many times you want it to split. More splits makes it more difficult, but you get more money. I see, so there might be one exit. I don't get any bonus. Two exits, so it splits into two paths. So I get three bonus. And three paths for a six bonus. The more towers on a plot, the less damage they'll do. Hover over a plot to see the current damage. I see, 100% multiplier. For the first five waves, you must add a plot. Then it becomes optional and costs gold based off its distance. Up the top is your gold. Up here, you get 10 gold every round plus one extra for every five gold you saved. So a bit of interest. Your gold carries over so you don't have to worry about spending it all. Nice. You lose if you reach zero lives. Beat wave 20 to win. In the bottom is the shop. There are towers and affixes in here. Rolling the shop costs one gold down here, and locking a tower for next round is free. Towers will automatically aim at enemies. Affixes can be placed on towers to enhance them. Okay. Sharp, sharp tip. So, oh, that's an affix. Okay, so you build a tower, you can put this on the tower and enhance the tower. The price of the item you buy is shown in the description next to cost. Hover over a tower. I see. Yep. Tier 1 costs 3. Yep. Every item also has a tier. This indicates when it unlocks during the run. Higher tier items are better. Click a tower to select it and place it somewhere on the map. Uh, work. There we go. Press on the info tab to see the stats of that tower. So, here it is. Okay. You can also change the targeting preference. First, close, last, weak, strong, first, okay. Affixes will show up in this info tab. Oh yeah, there's one slot for an affix, yep. You can pick up the tower you just placed by holding down on that tower. Put it wherever you like. Ah, okay, that's interesting. I can put in the bin. That's that's a pretty rare feature in tower defense. Usually it's uh, locked in, you have to sell it or, or deal with it, basically, if you don't like where you put it. Right clicking deselects a tower. This either puts it back in the shop where it, or where it was before you picked it up. Putting two towers of the same kind on top of each other will grant XP. Okay, you can see how much XP a tower has by hovering over it. Oh yeah, there's a little bar above it. That white bar will fill up. When a tower reaches enough XP, it'll level up and become much better. You can sell a tower if you don't need it. Towers will sell as level plus a fixed amount. Press start wave to start the next wave. This won't do anything in a tutorial. You can speed the game up to six times regular speed by pressing the 1x button during a wave. Is that? Maybe it will appear once the wave starts. Speeding up too fast can cause performance issues and visual anomalies. There are some performance settings in settings. You can see how each tower is, performs by selecting it and going to the stats tab. Okay, so it sort of keeps track of the kills, I guess, and damage maybe. As you play, you'll unlock more towers, affixes, and packs. Which list the full game on Steam. It will have more than double the content. Game over. Okay. Definitely a nice shirt. Okay. Turn to menu. All right. Let's try a proper game. So we have one plot here with no towers on it. And I can add it, or I need to add another plot. I'm going to stick to the one path for the moment. It's a bleeding dagger. Put that there. Captures fish. Slower fish are trapped longer. Sure. Projectiles swing faster. Okay, so that immediately benefits you. Okay, um... Let's go, I guess. <laughs> okay, little fish. I'll get lead. 
of the dagger. Oh, you're not a swinging tower, are you? I thought that would be like a melee style tower. So maybe that doesn't benefit from the FX I put on. Okay. Nice chill music in the background. Your little art style. I'm assuming these are all mostly placeholders. Explosive mine. Does damage to close enemies on impact. Ah, it shoots a mine, okay. Now it said I can put two on the same to level it up. Oh, I see. That's halfway to level two. If I roll. Harpoon gun. It's a normal harpoon. I'm actually going to buy this and level this up. Level two, okay. Uh, not much money left. Let's start it at a plot. Uh, I will stick with the one path. Okay. He's going off. He's a tough little fish, isn't he? So what is the health like uh, color-coded? I need to work that out. A flail spins around the tower. Okay, that's what this is for. Wrong swing. Yeah, so I really shouldn't have put it on the net. That's a bit silly. Um, do I put another net here or do I try and upgrade this one? I'll try and upgrade. I will put a flail here as well and it will upgrade the flail. I will roll. I'll level this up again. Plus three, why not? Now what's this? Puffer fish spikes. Shoots a poison spike. I don't mind the idea of having some damage over time. Hitting people pretty early. Maybe it's better to put it here. Um, I'll just pop it there, I suppose. I will lock that so I can keep that for next time. I will lock that as well. Add a plot. Oh, yeah, keep forgetting. <laughs> We're just going to do a big loop. That wave three. Okay, so there's no real way to tell the health. What is this doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to see just how close we are to killing things. He's got health, he's got poison and bleed on him, so I'm hoping that will knock him out before he gets too far. What is this? Gotta cover every square in a in a plot, I assume. This is a it's a fire. This one. And he beat me. Okay, another plot there. What can I do? I will. What is a spear? Damage is higher the less health an enemy has. So really, if I put him here after these things do damage, they might be okay. Do you have another slot for an affix? No. Fine. I will upgrade you and I will upgrade you. And get you on your way to the next level. Explosions are doing good work for us. Let's see if this is any good. Not good enough, apparently. So I'm just going to speed that up, get him through the maze quicker. Oh no, he died. Okay, damage over time in there. Green sludge. It's a damage dealing aura. Why not? Minefield leaves explosive mines at random places in range. Uh, I might not actually. What I might do is I'll upgrade the dagger. Wait, one percent damage. I've got too much on this lot already. Oh, I forgot I can move things. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Now you're on twenty percent damage. 60%. Really? 
Maybe you should go there. You can come off. Right here. 100. And you're 60. Okay, you can definitely come last, I think. So that should be 100. Plenty of damage over time. So we'll bleed here, poison here. And then you will hopefully mop up the stragglers. Uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, level up dagger goes off. Perfect. What is this? A bad sniper. Shoots a lock bullet the wrong way. Okay. Don't quite understand what that does for us, but uh, I will upgrade the mine again. That's doing good work for us, and I might upgrade the spear, hopefully. I'll roll once. Buzz a saw. Bullet damage is higher, the less health it has. It's a bleeding saw. Yes. What happens? Um, I can potentially upgrade that if I lock this one. So let's go. Oh wow! <laughs> he goes off, doesn't he? Nice. Level one flail. Level. Okay, I'm definitely gonna upgrade the net. I might upgrade this thing. What is it? The slime. I forgot what it was called. My stats here. Green sludge, sorry. Radioactive sludge. Okay. Uh, what is this? Crit chance. And I could potentially upgrade that, so I might lock that for the next wave. New towers unlocked. So, is that because I'm on a uh, certain level? Wave 8. Uh, okay. The journey. Bullets do more damage the further they travel. None of my towers are particularly long range, so I don't think I'll benefit too much from that. Uh, I will... Oh, that's different. Different. Oh, okay. We'll put that there, and I might roll hammer. Wobbly flail. Big boom. Increases explosives, so I, so I can put that on my mine. Nice. Heat seeking. That's homing. Uh, right. Put that there to upgrade him. Customites. Oh, I could have put that on. You have three affix slots, so I might lock that for that next time. So there'll be plus demines with bigger range thanks to the big boom. That's nice. Tanky boy. Upgraded, he is level two. Uh, what is this? Evaluation increases the cell value. Okay, oh, I will put that on you. Oh, that's a no, it's a tower, not a not an affix. Okay, never mind. Uh, I will, I suppose, I'll work to upgrade you and you. I put two and he's got two big booms on him so that might hopefully they stack <laughs> that'll be cool uh, a sword it's a lock sword in a random direction I think there were three three I'm gonna lock that and that I'll unlock you wow okay check out those explosions Level one, I will upgrade you to level two, and I'll, just so you actually will have to see some action, I'll put you up here. I want a sword. Is that really beneficial? I realise I should be um, bending at this point, shouldn't I? But we have another need. A hundred, hundred, hundred. 
that goes. Roll. Sniper rifle. Map wide range. Okay. I'll just put you down here anyway. Uh, I will. Ah, oh, the journey. Do more damage the longer it travels. Can't do it. Ah, oh, can't afford it. Lock you, lock you. Let's go. Awesome. Critical chance is way less and damage is times five. Uh, lost seven. Who's this? Fisherman. Limited auction hooks. What is that? Uh, I might hold off on you. I'm thinking I will buff you. Because you can be anywhere, so I'm going to put you right down. Yeah, so your bullets travel the furthest, potentially. I'm going to put this on here. Five times damage. Oh, that's on a crit. Okay. Um, that's okay. And I will. I've got $2. I'll just upgrade that as well next turn. Nice. So. You do? It destroys a fish and earns money. Only active while the only tower on a plot. Limited shots. Man, I'll put you there. You might do something for us. Upgrade the sword. And I will work towards level 3 dagger. Nice to see this tower. Uh, oh. Uh, it would be nice, be nice to see the damage this tower can do, but you don't really get the little damage you know, hit markers or anything like that. Stealth tower that shoots homing shurikens. Stealth. Ah, okay, so I can put that on the same as the fisherman and he won't get upset. Uh, I can level you up. And I will... Starting to get a little bit further through the maze now, so plan for that. Barbed arrows. Increase the cell value. Like roll, I think. Level 3 already. Two radioactive chemicals. Homing is more accurate. Crit chance. I'll roll again. I'm gonna the spear. Roll again. I'll get this sword up to a high level, maybe. That's a tanky fish. him here just so he's firing more distantly. Uh, we'll upgrade the sword. We'll upgrade the fisherman I guess. Couples all chance based effects. What is this? Nuclear plant. Isolated tower shoots radioactive barrels. Okay. Um how about that at this stage? Normal roll. Increase fire rate by 50%. Uh, you have one. I'll do that. I might lock that because that could be. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it on. No, I can't put it on there. Uh, I'll hold on to that. I reckon if I can upgrade the sniper rifle and put that on there, that would be quite powerful. Okay. 
upgrade the fisherman next turn. I'll upgrade this again. Yes, I'll lock that for next turn as well. doing is a shooting thing literally randomly okay what is that off a fish shoots a ring of poison spikes okay uh, I will upgrade fisherman I will upgrade beggar do I want a puffer fish I mean I kind of do I benefit from puffer fish that's the question we'll see go to roll where is a sniper rifle? Who would like to upgrade this? Okay, I'll upgrade the fish just in case anything does make it that far. I'll roll and Lovely you. Okay, I can level you up as well. One thing that does jump out at me, I know this is just an early, early demo. Um, yeah, not much in the way of enemy variety. I mean, different colors of fish obviously indicate how strong the fish is. That's about all we've got to, to tell them apart. Um, I really don't know what else to do here. What is that? A blazing flail. A trap. It's three ultra durable nets. And upgrade the ninja. Got a minigun. Mainly fast, wow. Uh, I will skip that for now. I'm hoping just for a sniper rifle upgrade. Industry sees that sort of stay active, do they? Air bomber. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What a range has this got? Pretty good. We're on 60% damage, so what if I move you? Damage the more damage the enemy is, I believe. So, the later you are, the better. Just to stop any leaks. Uh, I may as well aim to upgrade you again. Oh, there's a sniper rifle. Cool. I'll lock that as well. This. You. Have that extra slot. Can I put this on there? Cost five. Oh, I can't. Oh, runway of 22. No. I'm just going to go. I want that to happen. How do I sell this? Is there a sell button? the bin the cell or is that just going to kill me because I'll throw in the oh yeah plus three up the top I see now I'm gonna do that just because I really would like to see this get an increased fire rate I think that might do more work for us and then I can put this guy his place over here and hopefully we'll still be okay it's not rough enough to be fine really quick Oh, we won. 
Okay, so you get experience at the end of a run based on lots of different stats. Shots fired, fish, fish killed, money earned, any pots you bought, any towers you bought. Okay. Wave speed in 20. Okay. Interesting little that's there. Click to open unlocks. Oh, what I get? Tightly packed and flails and flails. Interesting. Then you have an option for endless, so you can just keep playing that run or restart. I'm actually oh, we had a little crash, but that's fine. I was just about to, to leave it there anyway. So interesting little game. Uh, early days, obviously, it's not feature complete, I imagine, but uh, good bones, some good uh, base to work from. So I'll be watching this one with interest. If you want to check it out for yourself, the demo is available on Steam, and I recommend you uh, check it on your wish list and keep an eye on it. So thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time.